I still got to duck down a bit, but this is a little bit better of a setup. This is pretty good. Oh, don't forget to look at the camera. Oh, yeah. <laughs> not the thingy, not there this. There we go, there we go. <laughs> Guess what, Sass? We're gonna start like this, okay? Hey, this is a girl and her sassy. Oh yeah, we're classy. It's Nicole and sassy. <laughs> Good thing I'm the editor, cause that's going. <laughs> He's leaving it, don't worry. <laughs> so the friends, Sassy and I have lost 130 pounds and we've kept it off for six years. At our heaviest weights, 375 for Sassy, 275 for myself, we were struggling with a lot of health problems, including a type two diabetes diagnosis for Kyle, AKA Sassy. We get asked often um, because he was able to reverse it through diet, reverse type two diabetes through diet and exercise. We get asked all the time, how did he do that? And so that is what this video is about today. What did Sassy do to reverse it? I've done a video a long time ago about this uh, same uh, topic and I've been kind of reluctant to film this because I don't feel like the answer is going to be that popular. And what I mean by that is it's, there's no magic pill, there's nothing fancy I did, there's no special foods I ate, there's no special diet I did, there's no special exercise routine that I did. Um, but I feel like we have a lot of new followers and that if I do share today, it will help a lot of people that maybe are scared like I was getting that diagnosis, getting a lot of health issues, a lot of things that wouldn't heal on my body, sores and stuff. And so I figured that it's worth it to share today in case you're being diagnosed, you have type two diabetes, just to give you some confidence that, um, there is hope. And it's nothing special and fancy. And if I can do it, anyone can do it. So we'll go uh, rewind back about, I think, eight years, probably eight or nine or 10 years. I've eight. been having clear A1C tests now. And I just had one done recently and all my blood work is perfect. I check my blood sugar a lot and it's perfect. I'd say probably about eight years ago. Eight years because it took us two to lose the weight, all the weight, and then we've kept it off for six. So I would say about eight. Yeah. So I remember getting the diagnosis and we left and it was about, left the doctor's office and it was about lunchtime. And I was having a complete panic attack, freaking out. What do, I can't touch a carb. I can't look at a carb. I can't eat any normal foods. What are we gonna do for lunch? Uh, you have to I, give up everything, yeah, all your favorite foods. I thought it was like, my life was over in what I like to do and eat. And um, Nicole, we were right by a subway and Nicole reminded me, um, let's not go crazy. We're just gonna eat Subway. Like we oft we ate Subway all the time for lunch. Yeah. But today, let's try it in portion. And I had no clue where to start or what to do. So I thought that was the most sensible advice I had heard. And so we started with splitting a large sub and that, and then uh, had, I think we still had the bag of chips with it. Yeah, but we got the small single the, serving bag yeah. each. And when we were done, that was it. And we chose, I think the lowest calorie chips to, yeah. to try to be in a calorie deficit because we knew we had to get the weight off in order to reverse some of these health problems that we were having. And I was, really stuck on the the foods um because you hear so much when you google like how to reverse type 2 diabetes naturally it's like there's the anti-carb people there's the anti-sugar you can't ever touch candy again or chocolate bars or um you have to eat an anti-inflammatory low glycemic index diet and i had already been through the fad diet rigmarole my entire life since i was nine years old I was put on diets and been trying these fad quick fix diets. So when I got the diagnosis, I knew that wouldn't work. So we started, like I said, with portion control. That was eight or nine years ago. And 
I'm in the best shape of my life now at age 40. Um, still doing portion control. Eating, just eating less. Not changing the foods that we loved. Because we had tried that. We said, okay, it's broccoli and chicken now for the rest of our lives to fix. Because Nicole had health problems too. She had sleep apnea, a lot of um, plant, plantar fasciitis, uh, a lot of body pains because of her weight. I did too on top of the type 2 diabetes. So what could we do that wouldn't fail? Uh, we've, we've been up and down every road with, with fad diets and trying to eat specific uh, ways and taking away and the takeaway diets never work taking away whole food groups never worked for us No, especially carbs. We loved carbs and we heard so many places like if you just take away carbs You'll lose weight, but because we were taking away something We would end up rebelling because anytime we took away we wanted it more. So when we included everything that we loved, but we did it in portion, we were able to stick to it because we were eating what we loved. We didn't have to give up going on dates or eating the foods we loved. We ate in portion and then because we couldn't really do much at those weights exercise wise, we made a pact with each other um, in order to help Sassy and I both with our medical issues, we would walk. and. Every day we got out there, we started with 5 to 15 minutes because it was all we could really do. And that combined with the portion control, we built up stamina and we started losing weight very quickly because we were able to stick to it. It was sustainable. It was small changes. It wasn't giving anything up. And as we started getting the results, our medical issues started fixing themselves because it was, we realized it wasn't the types of food we were eating, it was how much we were eating. And as the weight came off, it had been the weight that was causing the majority of our health problems. So one of the biggest things I learned is a diet isn't any good if you can't stick to it. Exactly. So what I did was I, before the diagnosis, I liked eating for breakfast, toast, uh, you know, fruit, oatmeal, cereal, whatever. I just changed the portions. We liked having chips. Uh, you know potato chips at night instead of a bag each which we were doing before we split a bag we got two bowls split it and the first three months we both lost about 50 pounds yeah already each. my blood sugars were almost in normal range in three months and this is just my experience so don't we're not doctors, doctors. we're not giving medical advice I'm just sharing what happened in my journey but in three months 50 pounds down so I just kept doing it, it kept working. And along the way, I, I found ways to make oatmeal taste better. I um, would have a portion of fruit, you know, have one apple and a couple pieces of toast. We, one thing we added was water. We, we never drank water. That's one thing I did kind of in the beginning, if you wanna say force yourself, I knew I had to get down my water and Nicole did too. And that we were, we were terrible at drinking water. Our liquids consisted of pop. Like that is pretty much it, right? Seven cans for myself and About I think pretty much for Sassy too. Yeah. Uh, Dr. Pepper was our favorite. So it was seven cans of pop a day and nothing else. But how we started, because we didn't want to drink water or like it, we put one of these in the bathroom each at night before we went to bed. And when we woke up in the morning, we would make sure when we would wash our face and brush our teeth that we would get that bottle of water down because at least then we had one bottle down and that set us up for success. We then wanted to drink more so that our body would function properly. So the portion control combined with moving our bodies as much as we could and drinking water really helped us because they were small changes that we could stick to and we still literally do that to this day. We enjoy our life, we love our food, we choose low calorie stuff most of the time, eat it in portion by using the serving sizes on the back of the nutrition labels, and that's how we were able to lose the weight, keep it off, and get in now the best shape of our life. Sassy's A1C is like perfect every time he takes it. 
I was medically cleared of sleep apnea. I no longer need a machine. I breathe perfectly in my sleep. My plantar fasciitis is gone. And that was all by eating portion control, moving our body and drinking our water. And we had, me and Nicole both struggle with emotional eating issues. So yeah. how we dealt with that was not get rid of the cookies. We, like with the water, we would label each other's water, cookies, chips in a portion, set it up, get two cookies, put it in a bag, one labeled Nicole, one labeled Kyle. Um, it worked, we, we uh, helped each other. We still ate popcorn, chips, cookies, all that. And we just started portioning just less. And if you're not ready to go from like, you know, a whole bag of cookies for me, like down to two, start with four. Start, if you like bacon and toast, uh, start with two pieces of bacon, two pieces of toast, some eggs, still have what you like to eat. Don't punish yourself. Th this journey, it, in my opinion, it won't ever work if you're punishing yourself. Yeah. And with fit, with exercise, it's nothing fancy. Like Nicole said, we started, I could barely walk five minutes. So that's what we did, five minutes. Eventually, a couple weeks, hey, my legs aren't in pain anymore and we've gone 10 minutes. Yeah. Hey six months we're going 20. now me and nicole do it we just did an hour and a half hike this morning and loving it enjoying nature and uh, our bodies are, are flowing and functioning again properly so if you're scared if you don't know what to do you're confused with all the information out there about diabetes whatever for me what worked was common sense and it's still working today almost a decade later so hopefully this video gives you guys some hope yeah. um a direction to start in with with common sense moving your body drinking some water and just cutting just eat a little less of what you love yeah you don't have to change what you're eating we didn't it was about eating what we loved but less we weren't ready to get rid of the chips or eat even we one still serving. Aren't. <laughs> no. So we ate, instead of a full bag of chips each, we went to a bowl, which was about half a bag. So it's okay. Small changes get you the big results, guys. Yep. And just know it's weight loss journeys aren't linear. There's going to be mistakes. That's okay. We, we made many. We learned from it and we just kept going. We went, never gave up. Went right. When we made the mistakes, we weren't, we start, we became very loose on our measurements of peanut butter or other foods. So we realized, okay, back on track, okay. level off the measurements of the oats and the peanut butter, get the tablespoon out again and make sure you're measuring properly and get back on track. Don't worry. Like Nicole said, it's normal. You're going to have fluctuations, parts where you fall off the track and get back on. It's normal. Keep going. Love yourself. Believe in yourself and you can do it, guys. Yep. It's the consistency and the progress, not the perfection, guys. We love you so much. If you want to know exactly what we ate to lose our first and next 50 pounds, we do have two weight loss guides. Down below are the links, exact portions, meal plans, family-friendly recipes that we made in eight. Uh, check it out. Links are down there. We also have a brand new guilt-free cookbook. Book. If you want to eat all your favorite foods without the guilt and extra calories, check that one out. Link is also down below. I hit my face when I did that. Ding! As long as you don't <laughs> hit me. I do this to you. Ding! All right, the friends, or you can watch these two videos for free. We love you. One more note like this because we're sitting on the ground. We love you. Peace out. Nicole and Sassy, we're very classy and we're. <laughs> ow, ow. Again with the songs. <laughs> I like singing. See you guys. Bye. Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't give up. <laughs>